اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني ما ينفعني وزدني علما Oh, like grant me benefit in what you have taught me and teach me only the useful knowledge and increase me in knowledge. And whenever you are stuck in a problem in a mathematics, whenever you are not finding the solution, you just have to read this dua. Allah will make it very easy for you. You know, this dua is so beautiful. Allahum la sahla illa ma ja'altahu sahla wa anta taj'alil hazna iza shahta sahla. Ola, nothing is easy except that which you have made easy. If you wish, you can make this dis- difficult topic or difficult task easiest for me. It's so beautiful, Dua. I uh, will will be reading this Dua every day, inshallah. You will have to memorize all these Duas, okay? Okay. Okay, inshallah. You'll get, you'll get it used to it. Get used to it whenever you're repeating it every day in the class, inshallah. So, uh, are you ready with a rough book along with you, Bija? A rough book and a pen. Uh, do you have a pen to write on the screen? So we'll start with unit three chapter, the segment relationships. Okay. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Anything and everything. Let's begin with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay. Can you tell me what is a segment, Aban? What is a segment? A line that is connected by two points. Yes. A line that is connecting back to two points. It can be mentioned in any part, right? As a, what is a segment of a circle, Bita? Segment is nothing but a part of a whole, right? It is nothing but a part of a whole. If, a, if there is a line which is drawn from here to here... Okay. Then the, this this part of the line A B this is a segment of this line, right? Yeah. Yes. So segment is a part of a whole. Segment is a part of a whole. Today now now in this chapter in this unit three we are going to deal with the lines only. Okay. 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 So the segment in a line. So we have a segment addition postulate uh, in your topic. So Chalo, we'll see the first first postulate, the first theorem that is mentioned in the topic for you is segment addition postulate. What is segment addition postulate, Peter? Uh, you know, what is a segment? Just I have told you just now that in a line, if it is divided into any parts, then this is called as a segment, right? AB is a segment. Yeah. It is AB is a line segment. So now there is a postulate, namely the segment addition postulate. You know, the segment addition postulate is in geometry is applicable on the line segments containing the two, three collinear points. What does collinear mean? What does collinear mean, I, uh, uh, Aban? What does a collinear mean? Um, collinear. Points, points that are on the same line. Excellent. These are the points that are on the same line. So now we are going to deal with the postulate, which is segment addition postulate. It is nothing but if you have three collinear points A, B, C, then the sum of the e, the sum of these line segments A, B, and B, C gives you the total line segment. Is it right? The sum of yeah. A, B plus B, C gives you the entire line segment. This is just the segment addition postulate that you have in your curriculum. Okay, so it is the statement here. It states that if there are two given points on the line segment A and C, this is the line segment AC. If there are if there are two points A, B, and C, then point B lies on the same line segment somewhere between A and C. Only if the sum of A, A, B, and B, C is equal to AC. Okay, so A, B plus B, C. What is AB plus BC equal to beta? AC. AC. So this is your postulate that you have. So this is AB plus BC is equal to AC. This is called as, what is what is this postulate called as beta? Segment? Hmm? You segment? said you were understanding everything. Okay. When she's asking question. Segment addition postulate, please. What this postulate is called as beta? It is segment addition postulate. Uh, we are dealing with a concept called segment addition postulate. Okay. It is nothing okay. but if you have three collinear points on a line, if you have three collinear points on a line A, B, and C, then, then the sum of A, B plus B, C will give you the entire line. Is it not right? It is yeah, right, right? right? So A, B plus B, C gives you the entire line A, C. It is nothing but the statement is called as a segment addition postulate. That's all, okay? Okay, we'll see some problems on this as um, as it's informed there. Okay, so from this, where where no we can use segment addition postulate? Can you please tell me, Aban? Where no can we use this segment addition postulate? What? Uh, where can we use this segment addition postulate? Okay, no. for example, 
if you have a line yes if you have a line of measurement 5 cm and they have given you a small section which is 2 cm and if you if they'll tell you to find the other part of the line what what is the answer to this aban 3 cm Yes, excellent. This is three centimeter, right? Okay, mashallah. So, so this is the first use of the segment postulate, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is the uses applications of the segment postulate. This uh, the application of the segment postulate is nothing but it is used to measure the specific measurement of its parts, right? You can understand. You can know what is the measurement of the parts, each part. Okay. And if we divide this line segments, we can explore what is the length of each part. this is the two applications of the segment addition postulate okay so we'll see these some we will see some problems on this okay aban come on read this problem for me beta find the value of line segment ac given the values of other segments in this figure okay uh, can you do this for me can you solve it on the screen uh, solve it on the screen yes please oh uh, um Is it difficult? You do not have a pen to write on the screen. Yeah. Okay, um, fine, mashallah. Yes, yes. You can give it a try. You can give it a try. This. Okay, I'll oh. delete it. I'll delete it. Okay. I can erase things for you. Just you can write it on the screen. Uh, find the value for the line segment AC given the values of the other segments in this figure. So they have told you to find AC. Other values have given here. Fifty-four minus twenty. No. 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 How how will you find a C beta? Uh, just tell me how will you find? Uh, just tell me aloud. How how can you find a C? You add the a b the value yeah, of a b to from. and add it to b c yes first thing what we can do here is we can remove 20 from 36 yeah right if we remove yeah. 20 from 36 what will we will get we'll get cd right beta yeah uh, so uh, can you please tell me what is the answer for cd okay 36 30. minus 20 what is 36 minus 20 beta It is fourteen. Yes, excellent. So this is twenty. This is fourteen. So we have the whole as fifty-four now, right? Fifty-four right. minus twenty plus forty. Isn't this the answer? Yeah. Yes. What Wait. is fifty-four minus twenty plus fourteen, Mita? What is twenty no, plus fourteen? It's, it's it's not fourteen. So what is this? Thirty-six minus twenty. It's sixteen. Yes, it's sixteen. Yeah, it's sixteen. Yes, excellent. So it is sixteen here. So what you have to write is twenty plus sixteen. Okay, tell me the answer now, Vijay. What is twenty plus sixteen? It is thirty-six. Correct. Yeah. What is fifty-four minus thirty-six? Fifty-four minus thirty-six. Um, oh, I no. Uh, twenty-two. Is it twenty-two? No, it is not twenty-two. No. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Ah. Yeah. Uh, uh, eight. No. Eighteen. Yes. Excellent. It is eighteen. Okay. It is eighteen. So A B gets eighteen right now. Yes. Yeah. So what is A C now, Vijay? Huh? What is A C now? What did they ask AC? you in the question? A C. Yes. Thirty-eight. We just found the segments, right? We just found the value for the segments. Thirty-eight. A B is eighteen. This is this much. Yes, it is thirty-eight. Excellent. This is the answer, right? So yeah. this is nothing but the segment rule. Through the segment addition postulate, we are going to find the answers. Okay, it is nothing but yeah. segment addition postulate. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Few more problems. Come on, solve this for me. The find the values of C D. Yes. Give the information of the right side A D D A D in the following figure. Okay. Um. Two. Wait. So you want to find C D? Wait, I need to turn on the pen. Yeah. Okay. Fifteen plus twenty equals thirty-five. Yes, excellent. So we are adding the segments. We will get thirty-five. 
then what we do is we are just subtracting it from the whole. AD is equal to 54 minus 35. What is CD equal to now? Is equal to 19, right? Uh, so uh, to write this, which I invite whenever you are solving this, uh, please write write down the uh, length 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 of these as well. AB plus BC is equal to, in this way you have to write it, okay? AB yeah. plus BC is equal to AC, which is nothing but 15 plus 20 gives you 35. So AC is equal to 35. You have to write it in this way, okay? Okay, okay. so these are the segments that you have to mention in the form of the words, okay, A, B in this way. Now, the next question here you have here is, uh, they have given just the question and not the figure. Uh, can you write the figure for this, Vita? A, B, C, yes, excellent. Uh, mention the three points. What what did they tell you here? A, B, C, R? Uh -huh. Collinear, collinear, what does collinear mean? They lie on the same straight line. Yes, excellent. B and C, excellent. Okay, the first thing about what they have told you is AB is 14 and BC is 10. So what is AC now? It's 24. Yes, this is, this is, this is nothing but the segment addition postulate, but you have to write it down as a formula pattern, okay? AB plus BC, what does this give you? It gives you AC, and this way you have to write it, okay? AB is nothing okay. but 14. Plus, what is BC to 10, which is nothing but 24. This is through the segment addition postulate. What we are doing here is we are just adding the segments, right? Okay, that's great. So this is the segment addition postulate that we are going to deal with. Okay, now we have some of the algebraic expressions, and we are going to find a, a solution to this. Come on, uh, I'll tell you have to solve this of uh, one question, and the next questions you have to solve it. Too, okay. Actually, and the question okay. I have asked you here, Beta, is what is GE? What is this? What is the measurement of GE? The given part is FE is nothing but four. Okay. Right. Have any solid, please. If you want to solve it, you can go to, uh, go, go give it a try. Okay. So wait. We have many equations here. We can write all of the equations down. 3x minus 185 is equal to, was it, what is 4, 3x minus 185 equal to? GF plus 4. Yeah. We can write this down as well. Or we can write 13x minus 993 plus GF is equal to 3x minus 189. However, you can, you, uh, if you want to give it a try, please give it a try. Okay. Um. Just check this figure better. We have GE. What is GE equal to? It is given that G is equal to 3x minus 185, right? Yeah. Yes. So if you remove 3x minus 185 from uh, 4 from 3x minus 185, won't you get GF? Yeah. Yes, you can get GF. So 3x minus 185, if you remove minus 4 from it, then you will get the GX. But you have an X here, right? But you have to solve for X. How will you solve for X, Abir, uh, Aban? But. 3x is equal to 3x minus 181. Equals gf. Is equal to gf. Excellent. Yes. Please solve it. Okay. Um, can you not solve this? Yes, you cannot solve this. You can keep just uh, this one as an equation. Okay, then we can extract GF from this equation. How can we extract GF from this equation, Mita? 13x minus 993 is 1, and 3x minus 129. 3x minus 129 minus this part, right? Yeah. It gives you GF. Uh, let's let's, let's, let's extra, extract GF from this. How will you do this, Abdurrahman? Uh, sorry, Aban? Okay, my previous mm -hmm. student was Abdurrahman. Okay, 3x minus 12 minus 
13x minus 993. Can you do this, Vita? Can you solve it? Yeah. Okay, please. So you do. 3x minus 12, keep as it is. Okay, 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 I can solve it in any way. Which worry is easier for you? Wait, no. Yes, yeah, so it is minus 10x. Excellent. Minus 10x minus, okay, this becomes plus, right? Minus, if it gets in, it becomes plus. Plus 993 minus 12. 12 minus 9, uh, 993 minus 12. What is 993 minus 12, Vita? 993 minus 12. As is... 1, and it is 8. 1, 8, 1. 9, 8, 1, right? Yes. Yeah. 9, 8, 1 is equal to GF. So we have got two equations for GF. Can we not solve these two equations together? If GF is equal to this much and GF is equal to this much, so we just need minus 10x is equal to this much. We just have to solve. How will we solve this? 3x minus 185 is equal to minus 10x plus yeah. 981. Right, Peter? Yeah. Yes. Now, please solve this equation. 3x minus okay. 185 is equal to minus 10x plus 981. I'll erase down everything else. Uh, uh, what is... What? Um, 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 no, can I use a calculator? No. Uh, do you need no, help you in this, Vita? Do you need help? Mm. You I, need just my help? Find, I just need to find 981 minus 185. Yes. Uh, is it minus or plus? If you send it this side, then it becomes plus, right? Yeah. If you send plus to x, then x here, then it is 13x equals <laughs> to... Oh, yeah, wait. Yeah, right? This is equal to yeah. here, beta. Well, between you have an equal to sign. Yeah, if you send 10x here, if you send minus 185 here. So yeah. it is 13x is equal to 981 plus 185. What is 981 plus 185? Nine eight one plus eighty five. One eight five. Um, one thousand. No, yeah, one thousand. No wait. One one six six. You can just do the simple addition here. You can solve it on the screen, Vita. One just one 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 six six. Yes, it's excellent. One one six six. So thirteen x is equal to one one six. Is what is x is equal to, Vita? What? What is x equal to? If 13x is equal to 1166, what is x equal to? What you have to do is you have to just send it this side. If you send it on the other side, the other side, then yeah, it becomes division, right? Yes. Can you yeah. please divide this? What is the answer to x now? Um, x is nothing, but we are going to find it. Oh, yes, yes, please. Solve it. 6 divided by 13. You can divide it on the screen, or you can do it in your rough book and tell me the answer. Um, Is, what is it? One one six divided by thirteen. Thirty nine. One one six six divided by thirteen, right? Yeah. It is almost equal to eighty nine point six nine, right? So the x value is eighty nine point six nine. What you have to do is you have to apply in this equation to just get the ge, right? So what is ge, yeah. Abraham? Oh, sorry, Aban, what is GE? GE is 89. GE, the equation for GE is nothing but 3x minus 185, right? Yeah. Nice. So it is 3 into, what is x, beta? 89? Yeah. 89.6 minus 185. So this is your answer. Yeah. yeah. Is it getting complicated? No. No, right? Okay, that's fine then. So just tell me the answer for 89.6 into 3 minus 185. Um, 
Is it? Um, 89.6 multiplied by 3, which you just uh, you just solve it on the screen if you find it difficult to solve it in your rough book. Is it 1.4? Is it? Is it? Is it 1.4? Sure? I think. I think. Okay, I'll just cross check it. 89.3, 89.6 multiplied by 3. 268.8. Minus 185. What does this give you, Peter? It doesn't give you 1.4? Oh, wait, wait, I did it wrong. <laughs> Uh, 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 you just have to subtract it, right? Eight. This is it. Eighty-one. No, not again. Not eighty-one. What is it? It is. Eighty-three. Is it? it is eighty-three point eight. Eighty-three point eight centimeters. Okay. Okay, alhamdulillah. This is the way you have to solve it, okay? So this is called a segment addition. What you have to do is you have to add or you have to subtract some things from the uh, from the whole segment, okay? And then you have to find the answers. Uh, it was quite tricky one. Uh, so we'll see some few, few, word, uh, few problems which are a bit easier, okay? Uh, come on, solve this, Vita. Can you find what is YML here? ML. Uh, yes, you just have to find what is YML here. You just have to find the value of X here now, okay? So, um, First, you have to find the value of X, and then you have to substitute it in YML. Okay. Um, one, one plus four X plus X plus one oh three plus 70. Excellent, excellent. Is equal to x plus two four. Plus two four three. Okay, mashallah. Okay, so um. How many x are here, Bajaf? Four x plus x, right? So it is five x here, correct? Then now add all of these terms. Um. One ten plus one not three plus seventy. One one zero one zero three and seven zero. It is three, eight, one, two, eight, three, right? Eight, three, what? Sorry, oh, it's two, eight, three. Oh, yeah, two, eight, three. Two, eight, three, yes. So it's two, eight, three is equal to what is on the other side, Rita? Huh? What's on the other side, the LHS side? It is X, X plus, plus two, four, three. Two, four, three. Now, how will you find the value of X of your uh, Aban? It is five X um, minus X, which is equal to two, four, three, minus two. Eight three, right? Eight three. Yes, yeah. please. Yes, please. Solve, solve, the, solve this down. So, right? Is, yes, it is 4x. Is we'll equal to. Like, okay, draw. Okay, 4x equals. Uh, 2, 4, 3 minus four, 2, 8, 3. Negative 40. Yes, negative 40. Excellent. X, equals negative 10. Yes, it is negative 10. X is equal to minus 10. So what is the answer for YML now? ML equals negative 10 plus, plus one, one, oh three. 3. So it so is... ML equals uh, 93. Positive 93, right? Mashallah. So YML is 93. This is your answer. That's all. Okay, Mashallah. Is it getting easier? Okay. Uh, can you solve for Yen over What is Yen over now? 17 plus 3x minus 5 equals 5x plus 2. Yes. And then you do 3x uh, plus 12 equals 5x plus 2. And then you do... 
the head equals two x x x equals five. Yes, excellent. And, and then five times five plus two equals twenty seven. So n o oh, is equal to twenty. Yes, yeah, no equals to my twenty. Okay, mashallah. As a round the problem here, the question they have given here is A, B, and B, C. Find A, B, and B, C if A, Z is equal to 120. Okay. Could I, should I do it? You have to write um, down the formulas. So Abdurrahman uh, Aban, what did I tell you? A, B plus B, C is equal to A, C. You have to write it in this way, beta, because we are using a postulate, namely segment. Yeah. Addition postulate. So to use this concept, you have to write it down in the form of the segments itself. A B plus B C is equal to A C. Okay, and then you have to uh, solve it. Okay, solve for it. Okay. So um, you do four. Four x plus six. Four x plus six plus seven x plus fifteen equals one twenty. Yes. Yes. So what is 4x plus 7x now? 11x. Yes, and exactly. Then, and then you do plus 21 equals 120. And yes. then you do x equals 11x. 120. Yes, 11x, 11x is equal to 128 minus 21. 128 minus uh, 21 gives you? 99. No, yeah, uh, sorry, no. it is 120 minus 21, right? So it's not 128, it's 120. Hmm. Yeah, 99. Oh, no. no. Yes, 90. excellent, beta. Excellent. Mm. So it, X gives you and 99 X, over 11, right? X equals 9. Yes, excellent. So X is equal to 9. So what is the uh, answer to, to the A, B, and B, C now? Uh, this A equals... Uh, I'll clear the screen down so that it's basically okay. X is equal to 99. Okay, so you do four times nine plus six equals 30. No, 42. Four times 99. Four times 99. Oh, 99. Wait, 99? Yes. Yes, it's no, nine. Sorry. X. Oh, sorry. 99 over 11, right? Yes. Okay, okay. It was nine. Yeah, Very so that's good. Nine. Yes, it's nine. MashaAllah. Very good. 94 gives you. So the six. Yes, plus six. Excellent. The next part. Oh, wait. Seven into nine plus 15. Uh, equals um, uh, 63, plus 16. Plus 63 plus 15, 78. Yes, exit. It is 78. Yes, we have my show. Okay, there's something called as a midpoint. Okay, there's a concept called midpoint. Uh, if there's a line A, B, and if you uh, draw a point named M, okay, if you okay, about if you if you draw a point, if you, if you just mark a point namely M, and if you call this as a midpoint, then what can be in from per from this is AM is equal to MB, right? Yeah. For anything, the midpoint is nothing but it divides a line into two equal halves. Right or wrong? Yeah, right. What is what is a midpoint? It is nothing but it divides a line or anything into two equal halves. So if AB is a line segment and then you are drawing a point M, which is the midpoint of AB, then what we can infer from here, infer from here is AM is equal to MB. Right or wrong? Right. Yes. So do you know what is the congruency, beta? What is congruency? Yeah. Yes. Congruence, what does congruence mean? That both of the sides are equal. equal. Yes. Congruence the concept is nothing but, congruence is nothing but, it should have equal sides or equal, if, if you have two figures, then it should have equal shape and equal sides, right? Equal sides, equal angles, and equal shapes is nothing but congruency. It is denoted by equal to and a tilde on it, right? This is the congruency. Mm -hmm. This is the symbol for the congruency. If this, yeah. if it, if, if you have a midpoint on a line segment, and if you have M, A, 
B, then AM is equal to MB and also AM is congruent to MB. Okay, Peter? you just have to remember this as well. Okay, wherever you have a midpoint, then if AM is equal to MB as well as AM is congruent to MB, you can write it in this way as well. Okay, now we'll deal with some problems on midpoint. Okay, uh, uh, okay, Aban, uh, can you please solve this? Read this question for me. In the given figure, if B is the midpoint of line segment AC, find the length of segment AC. So okay, how will you find this, Peter? What they have given is in the data is B is the midpoint. So if the B is a midpoint, what we can infer, you have to write write down everything, Aban. A, B is equal to B, C, right? Because yeah. B is the midpoint, right? First, you have to write what is given midpoint B. Then, if AB is equal to BC, then we have to solve for this too. How will you solve it, Aban? Yeah, 3x equals, equals to 4x, 4x minus 6. X. Yeah. Yes, excellent. What is and x then, equal to, Peter? Uh, wait. x equals 6. Excellent. X is equal to 6. Now, what you have to find is AC. Can you find the answer to the AC? AC, AC equals two, no, we're not 30, 18. Is it? Yeah. Yes, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. One more problem, Abdul uh, Aban? No, no problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you please uh, solve this? All that. Okay. Uh, so, 9x plus 7 equals negative 3. X plus 20. Uh, so, you get 12x equals 13. Abdurman, did you read the question, please? Uh, sorry, Aban, did you read the question? Yeah. Find whether Q is the midpoint. Okay, what's given in the question, Peter? Find whether Q is the midpoint. They have not told you that Q is the midpoint. Right? Wait. Yeah. Uh, yes. So how will you find it, Peter? How will I find this? Um... 9x plus 7 equals negative 3x plus 20. Okay. The The question is, they have not given you that it is a midpoint. Oh. But they have given you the length of PR is, is 45 units. Right? Yeah. You have to read the question carefully, Abdurrahman. Uh, so, Aban, find whether Q is a midpoint of segment PR or not if the length of PR is 45. First, you have to solve for x, then you have to... Just find the values for these two. And if you have, you have to compare the values. Is PQ is equal to QR? That's all. They have not given that it is a midpoint, right? You have to find whether it is midpoint. How will you find this, Vita? It's easy. Again, the segment addition rule. What you have to do is PQ plus QR gives you PR, right? PQ plus QR gives you PR, right? Abad? Yeah. Yes. So what is PR? PR. What is PR, Vita? PR, it is given that it is? PR is 45. Yes, it is 45. Now solve for X, Vita. How will you solve for X? Oh, come on, write it down uh, on the screen. 9X plus 7 plus... plus oh, no. Ma yeah. Okay, minus 3X. Yeah. Minus... Minus 3x plus 20. Yes, mashallah. 9 minus 3. What is 9 minus 3? It is 6x. What is 7 plus 3? Aban, I cannot hear you. 7 plus 20. Yes, it is 27, right? Yeah. Which is equal to 45. Now, how do you solve this, Aban? How do you solve for x? Uh, 6 x equals 45 minus 27 what is 45 minus 27 um, well no no uh, 
18? Huh? Is it 18? It, no, no, 18. Is it not 18? I don't think so. Wait. Please calculate it, Vita. Is it 18? What is 15 minus 7? Is 8? Just 3? Oh. Just 18. Yes, now, Vita. Yes, right? It is 18. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is 18. So 6x x equals to 18. What is x now? x equals 3. 18 over 6? 3. Excellent. x is equal to 3. Now we have to find whether this is a midpoint. How will you find it, Aban? By put, putting the x in the value. Yes, we are we are putting this x into this value and we have to find whether pq is equal to qr. Please find it with them. Okay. What is the value for PQ? What is the length for PQ? If X is equal to 3, 93 gives you 27. 27 plus 7 gives you? That times 3 equals. That times 3 equals 27. 27 plus 7. 34. 34. And Excellent. I get it 3 times. This is 34. Three. Plus 20 equals... Um, 9. 20 minus 9. What is 20 minus negative. 9? 20 minus 9 is 11. Yes. So, now tell me whether PQ is equal to QR? No. No. Excellent. So, what is it? Oh, so, you have to read this question properly. They have told you whether it is a midpoint of the segment PR or not. No. What you have to mention is no. Q is not the... Q is not the midpoint, right? Q is not the midpoint for the line segment. Yeah, that's all. Isn't yeah. it easy? Is yeah. it getting interesting now? Okay, now please yeah. solve this. Solve for this one better. A line segment X, Y. If Z is between X and Y, and Y, X, Y is 25, what will be the, what will be the expression, expression to find X, Z? <sighs> so, Draw the line out. Yes, it is line segment X, Y. Z is in between. Okay, this is Z. What would be the expression to find X, Z? How will you find X, Z, beta? What is given uh, now is X, Y. 25. X, Y is equal to 25. If X, Y is equal to 25, then what is the expression to find X, Z? What you have to do is X, Y is equal to xz plus x uh, zy z by brace z by right what is xz now it's not given what is zy now is it given no no so let's write x in place of exit okay because we want to find the value for exit only right yeah. x in place of exit plus let's keep zy as it is and what is xy it is 25 so Let's erase this down. Okay, so what is x now? Aban, what is x now? x is equal to 25 um, minus z by, Z-Y. right? z by, yeah. yes. This is the expression to find x, z. Correct? Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Okay, the next problem. Okay, there's a question here, Vita. I need you to solve it. A bed is 76. Is the class boring? No. <laughs> okay, Alhamdulillah. A man is 76 inches tall. The length from his head to his shoulders is 14 inches. And the length from his waist to his shoulders, 30 inches. What is the length from his feet to his waist? 76 inches. Okay, let's see. Let's keep this as a man, and he has a height of AB, which is 76 centimeters. 76 inches, okay? Length from his head to his shoulder is 14 inches. Let's keep yeah. this as a 40 meter. Let's yeah. mark this as C, okay? And length from his waist to his shoulders is 30 inches. Okay, where does waist come now? Head to his shoulder is done, and waist to his shoulders. Okay, this part is 30 inches now. Okay, yeah. now waist to his feet, which is uh, remaining. Uh, okay, DB, you have to find oh, DB. DB, right? DB. What is DB? 
30 plus 14 40. equals 44. Yes. And then you do 76, 76 minus, minus 44. 44. Yes. Yeah. For all of these, you have to write the equation, Abdurrahman. Okay? Uh, Abba, okay? You have to write the expressions. What is 76 minus 44? Um, 4 minus eight, 6, 4, 5, 6, 2, 7, 8, three, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3. It is 32, 32. right? Yes, excellent. So, DB gives you 32 inches. That's all. Okay? Alhamdulillah. Yeah. So, we dealt with the segment addition postulate. So, uh, there's a congruency rule. Uh, as discussed already, what does congruency mean, Vida? What did I tell you? If uh, something, if you have A, B, C, three points here, if you mark AC is equal to CB, then we can say that AC is congruent to CB, right? You just have mm -hmm. to make it equal. If anything is equal, right? In a figure yeah. or in a shape, if this, for example, to prove the congruence in the triangles, what we do is we should have equal shape, same shape, same sides, and same angles, right? Yeah. Yes. Three things should satisfy to prove that it is a congruent figure, okay? So now, yes. can you prove AB, uh, the given question is, AB is congruent to CD, can you prove AC is congruent to B? Huh? Okay. The question oh, here. Prove. Okay, 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 okay. 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 So A B um, is congruent to C D. They have given you already. Now we have to prove that A C is congruent to B D. So A C is congruent it. to B D. So how will you do this, Peter? A B plus B C is equal to C D plus B, C. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. Why did you do it? You just added B, C on both of the sides, right? Very good, Vita. A, B plus B, C is equal to C, D plus B, C, right? Now, what is A, B equals to A, B plus B, C equal to? A, B plus what? A, B plus B, C equal to? A, C. Right? Yeah. yeah. Which is equal to C, D plus B, D. What is C, D plus B, C? BD. BD. So it is done. So AC is equal to BD, which is nothing but AC is congruent to BD, right? Wasn't it easy? Yeah. Uh, to, yeah. to prove this, what you have to do is you have to write simple steps. What is given? What is what is to prove? What is to be taken? How will you prove this is nothing but if AB is congruent to CD, then it is nothing but AB is equal to CD, right? Yes, Vita? It is nothing but AB is equal to CD, right? Then what we do is add BC on both sides, correct? Yeah. Both sides. What did we do? What did we do was we added both BC on both sides. So AB plus BC is equal to CD plus BC. If you add BC on both sides, then what we got here was AC is equal to BD. If this and this are equal, two equal things can be congruent, right? So AC is congruent to BD. Is this the proof? Okay, for everything you have to write what uh, statements, okay? You have to write the statements to prove. Okay, we have a question here. Uh, can you take this down as a homework, Vita? Uh, you, if you have a uh, iPad, you can uh, quickly take a screenshot. Or you can take a snapshot on your cell phone. I took a this screenshot. Is, okay, please. This is a homework for you. Solve it down and send me the snapshot, okay? Okay. Done. Okay, okay. Uh, so we have just completed this part, right? Segment relationships. And this, yeah. we have completed segment addition postulate and we have completed midpoint as well, right? Midpoint, yeah. or it is called as bisecting, okay? What is a midpoint yeah. called? It is nothing but it bisects a line into two halves. Bisect, bisect ka matlab hota hai? It divides anything into equal halves, okay? Bisect is nothing but it divides anything into equal halves. It is nothing but midpoint, okay? So this is done. 